Hey, what's up guys, Steve from Cult of Mac here, and the Mac OS Public Beta has finally been released. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it safely onto your Mac. So let's get started. Before beginning the process of installing the Mac OS Public Beta, you'll need to make sure your Mac is compatible. As long as your Mac is made after 2010, you should be good to go. But there's a full list of compatible computers down in the description below. And as with installing any type of beta, it's always best practice to make a backup of your Mac. Whether that's to a time machine or just an external hard drive, it's vital to do so in case of any errors that could occur. The next step isn't compulsory, but I would advise it. It's a great idea to install the beta onto a partition of your drive, then it'll give you the ability to dual boot, which allows you to maintain the original operating system. Head to Applications, then Utilities, and then Disk Utility. Once open, choose your main hard drive from the list on the left hand side. Click the Partition button at the top to open up the Partition menu. Then click on the plus button underneath the chart to create a new partition. You can label it however you like, but I'm going to label mine Mac OS Partition, which will help later on when booting up. Then you need to assign a decent amount of storage space, to allow for installation and just for smooth operation. Keeping in mind the beta is just under 5GB, make sure to leave yourself plenty of storage to operate the OS smoothly. Click apply to make the changes to your drive and let it do its thing. Once that's sorted, head over to the Apple Beta Program website and log in with your Apple ID to sign up. Then scroll down and choose redeem code in the Mac OS Sierra Public Beta section. The Mac App Store will then open up and you can enter the redeem code provided to begin downloading the Mac OS Beta. As it's almost a 5GB download, this can take some time. Once downloaded, click on the update and follow the steps provided. If you're installing it onto a partition, make sure to choose it when prompted. After restarting, the Mac OS beta will be installed. If you've installed it onto a partition, you'll have to hold the option key down when you hear the boot chime sound of your Mac. Then choose whether you'd like to run Mac OS Sierra or El Capitan. Then you're completely free to roam Apple's latest operating system. Well, that's it for this video, but if you'd like to find out everything that's new in Mac OS, I've got a video link for you in the description down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, help me out and smash that like button, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.